Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the differences between pathogenicity and virulence. Okay, so what is pathogenicity? Pathogenicity is the quality or state of being pathogenic, the potential ability to produce disease. Okay, so what is the pathogenicity? Pathogenicity is the state or the quality of being pathogenic. So, um, organisms, for example, bacteria and viruses, they can be either pathogenic or non-pathogenic. That means pathogenicity is all or non-known concept. Okay, so basically the organism which produce disease, they are called pathogenic organism, whereas the organism which do not cause disease, they are called non-pathogenic organism. And so what is pathogenicity? Pathogenicity is the quality or the state of being pathogenic. If an organ, So the organism is either pathogenic or non-pathogenic. So it's a all or non-concept. Okay, so this is pathogenicity, right? For example, foodborne diseases are caused by pathogenic bacteria. And these pathogenic bacteria can be salmon. I mean, the, the diseases can be salmonellosis caused by salmonella, listeriosis caused by bacteria, listeria, campylobacteriosis, and yersiniosis. Okay, so, so what is pathogenicity? Pathogenicity is the state or quality of being pathogenic. So the organism can be pathogenic or the organism either can cause disease or it cannot cause disease. So it is a qualitative term. Okay, so if the organism causes disease, that kind of organism is called pathogenic organism, whereas if the organism which do not cause disease, that is called non-pathogenic organism. Okay. So now uh, moving to another term, virulence. So what is virulence? The virulence is the disease producing power of an organism or the degree of pathogenicity within a group or species. Okay, so virulence is the disease producing power of an organism or the degree of pathogenicity. So basically virulence is a term that quantifies pathogenicity. Okay, so virulence is the is a term that quantifies pathogenicity. It is a quantitative term. Okay, it's not a qualitative term, right? So for example, the flagellum of the bacteria is a key virulence factor in urinary tract infection because it helps the bacteria spread up the urethra, right? So it helps in increasing the disease outcome. So this, that's why this flagellum is a virulence factor. It's a virulence factor. And so what is a virulence? Virulence is the disease producing power of an organism so it is the degree of pathogenicity okay the quantity of pathogenicity that is called virulence i hope this video was helpful please subscribe our channel for more content like this thank you